place with prophetess Equilla Miller, right here on the New Creation Christian Network. Praise the Lord. This is Prophetess Equilla, and you're joining me for Times in the Secret Place, where I am helping to cultivate, hallelujah, just your sense of knowing that the Holy Spirit is with you each and every day. And the Holy Spirit is your helper. The Holy Spirit is your comforter, your teacher. Hallelujah, the Holy Spirit is your advocate, hallelujah, and your friend. And really, the Holy Spirit is your ultimate mentor, hallelujah, as you live um, your Christian life, your Christian experience, hallelujah. So, welcome to the program. Today, I'm going to be um, just encouraging you, hallelujah, that you understand that no matter what situation or circumstance that you may be facing um, today or in this season, that you can cast all your cares upon the Lord because the Lord cares for you. And so I'm going to be talking um, for the next 20 minutes about the prayer of casting your cares. As Christians, we need to, you know, get out of the habit of worrying, of 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 stressing out, um, of being fearful when things happen um, to us that maybe we're not expecting. Maybe there is a um, job loss. Maybe there is um, some type of sickness and that um, you, you're having to deal with um, in your family. Um, maybe there's a marital situation that is um, taking place that is causing there to be um, worry, anxiety, tension, and fear. Well, we have God, and we have to trust him in all things. Um, so today we're going to just Talk about the prayer of casting your cares over on the Lord. Ephesians 6.18, the God's Word version says, Pray in the Spirit in every situation. Okay? That's the key. No matter what situation you find yourself in, um, if, if, it's, if it's causing you um, any type of anxiety, if it's called, if you're like something comes up and you don't have the the peace, you don't have the answer on how you're to go through the situation or address the situation or handle the situation, the first thing you need to do is pray. Okay? So I'm gonna continue reading Ephesians six eighteen. Pray in the spirit in every situation. Use every kind of prayer 
and requests there is. For the same reason, be alert. Use every kind of effort and make every kind of request for all of God's people. Okay, so whatever situation you're finding yourself in, you need to pray. Pray in the Spirit, that means pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in your heavenly language. Um, use every kind of prayer. You know, use the prayer of faith. Use the prayer of agreement. You know, if you have a prayer partner who you can come in agreement with um, very quickly um, on a situation, then, hey, that's what you're supposed to do. Pray for every person that's involved in the situation, okay? Pray that they have the mind of God. Pray that they are hearing from God. Pray that they are pliable in God's hands. Pray for God to touch their hearts. Pray for God to heal their bodies. Pray for God to bring peace into the situation. Pray, okay? Philippians 4, 6 says, Never worry about anything, but in every situation, let God know what you need in prayers and requests while giving thanks, all right? So again, the scripture is very specific. We're not to worry about it. We're to pray about the situation. So you need a place to live. So you need a, so you need a transportation. So you need employment. So you need healing in your body. So you need more finances. Hallelujah. So you need favor with someone on your job, in the courtroom. Hallelujah. Whatever the situation is, worrying for the Christian is not the solution. It's not the answer. The answer begins with prayer. The answer begins with making your request known unto God. You, We have to learn how to cast all of our cares and anxiety over on God. I'm going to read for you 1 Peter 5, 7. It says, turn all your anxiety over to God because he cares for you. Hallelujah. Did you hear that? I want you to be encouraged on today. You know, no matter what you're going through on today, Know that God cares for you. Hallelujah. If you're in a bad situation, an awkward situation, a strange situation in your marriage, hallelujah, God cares for you. If you got a situation on your job uh, where people are coming against you, God cares for you. You have a project that's due at, at school. Um, God cares for you, okay? So anything that is trying to trouble you in your spirit, anything that's trying to um, steal your peace, you need to just cast it over on the Lord in prayer. You need to go before the Lord and say, God, you know I need employment. You know I have bills to pay, and you know I'm in faith, Father God, believing you. Hallelujah to get me into to get employment for me. Hallelujah and I'm not going to worry about it. Hallelujah. I'm just going to cast these cares over on you. Now faith without works is dead. If you're looking for a job, if you need a job, you need to be looking for a job. Okay? If you need employment, you need to be doing the practical. Amen. You need to be putting in applications or resumes. Hallelujah. But you don't worry about it. Hallelujah. You just let God know I need your help. I'm doing my part, God, and I trust you. Hallelujah. For favor, I trust you, Lord, that you have worked for me and that you are ordering my steps. Hallelujah. To that new assignment. Hallelujah. To that new work that you have for me. Amen. 
Hallelujah. First Peter 5, 7, the Amplified Bible says, Casting all your cares, all your anxieties, and all your worries, and all your concerns, once and for all on him. For he cares about you with deepest affection, and he watches over you very carefully. Okay? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want that to just sink in. Hallelujah. Many of you... Hallelujah, by the Spirit of God, you need to meditate this scripture in the Amplified. I'm going to read it again for you. It says, casting all your cares, all of your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all on him. For he cares about you with deepest affection and watches over you very carefully so hallelujah you worried about that child you worried about those children you're worried about that husband you're worried about that employment you're worried about that car situation whatever the situation is hallelujah god said cast them on me bring your problems your burdens Those things that concern you, bring them to me in prayer, in your secret place time, in your time where you go before the Lord and you just pray, hallelujah, that's where you cast those cares over to God, hallelujah, in the secret place, he wants you to just lay those, all those things that, those heavy burdens, he wants you to just lay them at his feet in prayer, just give it to him in prayer. Tell God what's going on. He already knows. But you have to go through your act of faith. You have to let him know. Hallelujah, God. I need you in this situation. This is what's going on with me. I'm giving this to you, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm laying these. I'm casting my cares on you. Hallelujah. And God cares for you. The word of God says he cares for you. You're not a lone woman of God. You're trying to raise those kids by yourself. Hallelujah. But now trust in God. Trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. To provide for your kids. Trust in the Lord to protect your children. Hallelujah. To protect. Trust in his protection. Trust in his provision. Hallelujah. Trust in his, rely on his grace, rely on his mercy. You do all this, hallelujah, by living in that revelation that God cares for you, that God is watching over you, that God is, hallelujah, cares about those things that concern you, that you are not alone. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. That's why this broadcast is here hallelujah to help you in your daily walk to have that revelation to cultivate your your relationship with the Holy Spirit so that you know you are not alone amen so let me give you some more scripture right here Psalms 37 5 it says commit your way to the Lord trust in him also And he'll do it. You know, when you go to the Lord and you ask for his protection, for his his provision, for his favor, for for his healing, whatever, hallelujah, when you're just committing your day to the Lord, hallelujah, you need to trust him that he hears your prayers and that he's going to do what his word says. He's going to do for you. We are to commit our ways. Hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah. And one of the ways we do that is by casting our cares on him. Now, notice the word doesn't say that God is going to take your cares away from you. You have to cast your cares. You have to give your burdens. You have to give that situation, those things that are worrying you and pressing you down, 
You have to give them over to the Lord. You have to release that thing to God. How many times have you heard that? That might be new for some of you. But you have to release those things to God. Hallelujah. Those things, hallelujah, that are, are trying to weigh you down, that are trying to stress you out, that are, you know, trying to make you, you know, just sick because you're so worried over them. God doesn't want, that's not what God wants for you. You love God. You trust God. He wants you to give it to him. Hallelujah. He's not going to take it without you casting it, without you laying it at his feet, without you releasing it to him. Okay? That's faith. You got to use your faith. You got to give it to God. Okay? Matthew 6, 25 through 27. I'm going to read it from the Amplified. It says, therefore, I tell you to stop being worried or anxious, perpetually uneasy and distracted about your life as to what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body as to what you will wear. Is life not more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap. The harvest, nor gather the crops into the barns, yet your heavenly Father keeps feeding them. Are you not worth more than they? And who of you, by worrying, could add one hour to the length of his life? We can't change anything by worrying, okay? We can't add any time to our life by worrying over our situations hallelujah god does not respond to worry he doesn't want us filled with worry he doesn't want us filled with anxiety he doesn't want us perpetually uneasy and and distracted because of the cares of life did you get that he wants you to learn how hallelujah to Pray about your situations instead of worrying about it. And he wants you to trust him, hallelujah, to help you. Hallelujah. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is the God who provides. He is Jehovah Rohi. He is your shepherd. Hallelujah. He is Abba Father. He's your father. Hallelujah. And he wants you, hallelujah, to begin to trust him with the details of your life. Hallelujah. And some of you, this is just a refresher. Hallelujah. You've been walking with God. Hallelujah. But I know by the Spirit of God there are some things, hallelujah, that's taking place in your life. There's things that's taking place in my life. And we just have to remember that no matter what, hallelujah, the situation looks like in the natural that we can, hallelujah, ask God for his help. We can tell God, hallelujah, about the situation and we can, in faith, hallelujah, just believe that God is going to make a way, that God is going to work it out, hallelujah. You're casting it on God. You're giving it to God is an act of your faith, letting him know that you reverence him as God in your life, that you reverence him, hallelujah, as all-powerful, hallelujah, that you reverence him as the El Shaddai God, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. Come on now. I feel weights coming off of people right now, even as I'm releasing the word, hallelujah. I'm the prophet and I'm prophesying. Hallelujah, but some of you are getting, the word is setting you free right now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Go ahead and receive the anointing right where you are. The hallelujah, because the word is alive and it's active and it's powerful. Hallelujah. And I know that people are getting delivered and peace is flowing. Hallelujah. Right now, even as you're just taking time 
to just listen to this word. Hallelujah. Luke 12, 25 says, And which of you by worrying can add one hour to his lifespan? Okay, so stop worrying about it. Pray about it. Give it to God. Stop worrying. Receive the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Pray about it. Give it to God and stop worrying. Hallelujah. Don't take it back. Once you've given things to the Lord in prayer, once you've cast your cares upon him, don't keep picking it up. Okay? If it comes back to your mind, hallelujah, just thank God. Hallelujah. Remind yourself, Lord, hallelujah, I gave that to God. Remind yourself, I gave it to God. It's in God's hand. God's got me. God's working it out on my behalf. Praise God. And go ahead and walk in peace. Amen. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, and they are plans for good and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. So even when, you know, you might be going through a challenging couple months, you stay in faith. You stay in faith and you know that God is a deliverer. God is a provider. God is a protector. God is a healer. And that God has a plan for your life. Hallelujah. You continue to let your heart trust in the word of God no matter what the situation looks like. Amen. Psalms 127.2, this is coming from the Living Bible. It is senseless for you to work so hard from early morning until late at night, fearing you will starve to death, for God wants his loved ones to get their proper rest. You know, sometimes you worry, hallelujah, there's a bill that needs to be paid, there are bills that need to be paid, rent needs to be paid, car payments need to be paid. And you're doing the best you can. Hallelujah. Well, God wants you to just believe him, cast those cares upon him and believe him for provision, believe him to provide for you. Hallelujah. And go to sleep and rest. He wants you to believe that he is Jehovah, Jireh. He will provide. Hallelujah. He will provide for you. He will provide that new job. He will provide more salary for you. He will provide more opportunities for you. You just have to believe God. You have to get into faith. You have to stand on your word. I just did a teaching about the authority of the Holy Scriptures. Hallelujah. And I remind you many times when you come, how when we come together on the broadcast, I'm reminding you to get into the word of God. Hallelujah. For whatever situation and challenge that you Um, are walking through because we walk by faith and not by sight, okay? And we have to live by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God, and that's a daily walk. It's a daily walk. And so build yourself up, hallelujah, by, by praying in the Holy Ghost, but also build your faith up, hallelujah, by, you know, getting into that word, And just meditating the word of God. Get the word down in your spirit. Hallelujah. And so this word is coming today because we face challenges. We face situations every um, day in our life. You know, there's something that can suddenly change that will cause us, um, where the enemy would try to cause anxiety and fear to come upon us. But I want to just remind you, God wants to remind you through this teaching, hallelujah, that he is here to carry the heavy burdens. Jesus said, come unto me, all who are heavy laden, hallelujah, and I'll give you rest. And so that's what Jesus wants you to do. He wants you to cast your cares upon him because he cares for you. He doesn't want you worried and stressed out, and I've given you Um, Some good scriptures today now to go ahead and meditate on um, this week until we come back together. And remember, we've got to learn how to trust and rely on the Lord. Romans 12, 14, 23, you know, 
Worrying is sin. For whatever is not of faith is sin. Okay? Worrying comes from looking at that challenge, from looking at that circumstance and that situation instead of looking at what the Word of God says. So I'm here to just remind you today to get your eyes focused back on the Lord. Amen? Well, I'm just about out of time. Um, I'm going to pray with you. Hallelujah. If you have not received Jesus as your Lord and your personal Savior, hallelujah, Say the, repeat this prayer after me. Father, I come to you just as I am. I believe that Jesus Christ is your son, that he was crucified, that he died, and that he was buried, but on the third day, he was resurrected from the dead with all power in his hand. Come into my heart now and live your life through me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, if you've prayed that prayer, welcome to, hallelujah, the household of faith. Welcome to the body of Christ. I believe that you are saved. Hallelujah. Get into a good, that the Holy Spirit leads you to a good Bible teaching church. Now, if you want to find out more about me, more about my ministry, I invite you to go on to my website. It's www dot prophetessequila.com. com. You can go on that website. You can sign up on that home page by entering your email address on the home page. And uh, once you leave me your email address and hit sign up, then you'll um, receive my electronic announcements and newsletters for what I'm doing in case I'm speaking or or teaching or holding any type of training. I do do live trainings on leadership and on prophetic ministry and on prayer and on women call to ministry. And I am available, hallelujah, um, to come into churches and ministry organizations um, to do training, hallelujah, here in um, the United States. I am in the Lombard area, the Chicagoland area. So, again, that's how you can learn more about my ministry. Um, this broadcast, Times in the Secret Place, comes on the New Creation Network org, and I'm here every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 a.m. and again at 7 p.m. and I pray and I prophesy and I preach and teach um, to encourage you hallelujah the believer to continue um, your daily walk with the Lord um, and to just walk in that revelation that the Holy Spirit is with you the Holy Spirit is in you and the Father loves you and just to cultivate a one-on-one -on -one relationship it's up to you to draw nigh to God. He said if you draw nigh to him, he'll draw nigh to you. And so it's up to you, man, woman of God, to keep your relationship with God. Hallelujah. You are as close to God as you want to be. Hallelujah. You seek him while he may be found. Amen. Well, that's all I have for you today. I pray that you were encouraged. Go back and um, look those scriptures up and meditate on those scriptures this week. Amen. All right. God bless you. Until next time.